Ragu is making cold sales calls. The probability of a sale on each call is 0.4. Well, that's because Ragu is a particularly good uh, salesman. And furthermore, each of these calls ca can be considered an independent Bernoulli trial. The first question is, what is the probability that he has exactly five failed calls before his second successful sales call? Second problem here is, what is the probability that he has fewer than five failed calls before his second successful sales call? Well, the interest in this problem seems to be on the second successful sales call, and that's what brings us to the negative binomial distribution. In this case, the random variable x will be the number of failures prior to the second successful sales call. And in this case, x will have the negative binomial distribution. And we have to figure out what the parameters should be. Now, in general, the parameters are r and p. We want to put those here and here. So what is r? Since we're looking for the second success, successful sales call, r will be 2. And the probability of success on each trial is defined by 0.4. So there are our r and p values. And from that, we can write down f of x, the probability mass function. That will be x plus 2 minus 1, choose 2 minus 1, times 0.4 raised to the second power, times 0.6, that's the 1 minus p, raised to the x power. And that's good for x equals 0, 1, 2, etc. If you simplify that, Notice 2 minus 1 is a 1. So here we simply have x plus 1 choose 1. That is just x plus 1. And 0.4 squared is 0.16. And we can't do any simplification on the 0.6 to the x. So there is the probability mass function on this support. So the next thing we can do is we can draw a picture of this probability mass function. And when you draw a picture of this probability mass function, that picture looks like this. The way this is drawn in R, this is our code here, is to set x to the support. Now the support goes all the way from 0 to infinity. Well, I'm only going to plot this from 0 to 9 because I can't go all the way out to infinity. And then I set f to the probability mass function, and that's what the letter d gives me right here, of a negative binomial random variable over the range 0 to 9 with parameters r equals 2 and p equals 0.4. And then I use the plot function with type equals quote h quote with parameters x for the horizontal axis and f for the vertical axis. And here is my probability mass function. Now, if you return to the question, part a was looking for the probability you'll have exactly five failed calls before his second successful sales call. And so that probability will show up right here. So if we knew that particular height right there, that would be the answer to part A. And furthermore, the second part, part B to the question, asks for the probability that he has fewer than five failed calls before his second successful sales call. So on part b, that will be the sum of these heights right here. Now, I could do those by simply plugging into the probability mass function and summing. But instead, I'm going to go ahead 
and show you both how to do it in that fashion and also how to calculate these in R. So for part A, the probability of exactly five failures before the second successful sales call, all I have to do is plug a five into the probability mass function. And here is what you get. And to four digits, that's 0 0.07465. That is calculated with the R statement DN binome with five. And then the parameters R and P in the distribution, two and 0.4. The probability that he has fewer than five failures before his second successful sales call, that's the probability x is less than five. So that will be f of zero plus f of one plus f of two plus f of three plus f of four. Here are those quantities. When you add them up, you get 0.76672. Now, instead of calling with a d binome, n binome, which will give you the probability mass function, you put in a p n binome, and that will give you the cumulative distribution function evaluated at 4 with parameters 2 and 0.4, and that will give you the 0 0.76672.